packing stove. Everybody should have one of these. Some configuration. I have two or three different styles. One that's a little wing fan, screws onto the top of a bottle, you know, goes in my ruck. Uh, I carry this one in my in my uh, get home bag. Throw it in there. This thing is unbelievable, man. It's so simplistic. Just a single burner, dual fuel stove. Uh, spark this thing up anywhere, man. Keep you from freezing to death. You know what I'm talking about? It's just quick, it's easy. Boil you up a cup of coffee, heat you a meal, keep from freezing to death. Puts off some pretty wicked flame too, man. Gets right after it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody needs one of these things. Throw it in your pack. I got a little uh, you know, hard case that it sits in. Takes up some space, but I look at it this way. So does everything else. Uh, I can use that to purify water anywhere I am. It's dual fuel. So, for the most part, wherever I am, if I have white gas or if I have just unleaded gas out of my vehicle, uh, I can use it to safely cook and, and boil water and do all the things I need to do. Uh, I've also got a dual fuel lantern, a bunch of replacement parts, mantles globe the whole deal and uh, all that stuff yes it it does take weight but or you know it takes room and it adds weight but hey uh, if it serves a purpose you really can't rule it out uh, it's kind of like clothes and and anything else that you're gonna pack in your 72 hour bag or your inch bag or, or whatever you're gonna whatever it is you're doing uh, you know theoretically even in a get home bag okay let's say you're at work and a natural disaster uh, you know earthquake whatever happens uh, you may not be able to get home in the first day half a day two days who knows you may be stranded in a parking lot someplace between where you want to go and where you just came from and I don't know about you but uh, I'm big on the creature comforts. I like to be able to eat. I like to be able to drink. Get some rest. I like to be able to see what I'm doing. So all those things all play a part in what I choose to put in my get home bag, in my bug out bags, in my inch bags. And I have varying degrees of bags for each individual purpose. Obviously, my inch bag is a whole lot more detail-oriented than my get-home bag. Um, all of which I have, uh, you know, food and, and a sustainable way to make water. Uh, they have light. Um, you know, all the basics. Uh, I carry a knife, several knives in my inch bag, but... I carry two or three knives in every bag I have, a fixed blade and a folding blade, uh, you know, for, for obviously the uses that you use each individual knife for. Uh, I have a gun in each of my bags, and all that stuff is just kind of based on the fact that you never know what you're going to come up against. I spent a long time trying to, to theorize all the instances that I may or may not have, uh, you know, or, or all the things that I might encounter, I have no idea, flat out no idea. Uh, you know, you can imagine until your imagination burns out and, and you still aren't going to cover every possible scenario that you might find yourself in. So I take the basics. I take a way to boil water. Uh, I take some, some high energy, uh, you know, snack food, granola bars, things like that. Uh, I throw a couple of MREs in, uh, in my get home bag. Uh, in my inch bag, I have uh, nearly a broke down case of MREs stashed within, you know, within that bag. Uh, some ammunition in my get home bag is obviously a lot less than what's in my inch bag. 
But again, like I said, you know, I think everybody should seriously look at something that's very efficient for short term. Obviously, you know, th this this little dual fuel stove is uh, is only useful in the environment that it has fuel. But hey, you got 72 hours that you're looking at. I can boil quite a few uh, pots of water with what's in that stove in 72 hours. And the gas in the vehicles that I encounter, it ain't going to have evaporated in 72 hours. So I got fuel there too. Oh, that's another thing. I carry a short length of hose. About five and a half, six feet, I think is what is in there. And it's a three-eighths airline. And I'm telling you, uh, I don't know about all you that grew up on a farm, but I did. And I learned how to siphon gas pretty early uh, to run my dirt bikes and, and ATVs and snow machines and whatever else I was, you know. And, of course, eventually it became my car. Uh, so you learn to siphon gas in a hurry. Two lessons of getting it in your mouth and you'll perfect your technique. I tr Trust me on that. Anyway, so again, like I said, you know, the, the fuel source for that stove is, is going to be pretty widely, readily available for at least a short time anyway, you know, and I would, I would perceive that to be uh, months, you know, in the event that uh, these vehicles, even if they get flooded out, uh, they don't, the gas tank generally is going to have gas in it. Um, so, just an idea. Like I said, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to get my head focused here so I can start putting out some more videos and, and, and I'm hoping that the weather clears because I kind of prefer to do my stuff outside where I can get a, a little more demonstrative. Anyway, uh, I got, I'm going to put up some vids here in the future uh, as soon as the weather clears and I can actually get this thing out. I'm going to set up, uh, I have a wall tent and kind of a, a base camp uh, that's going to be based out of my vehicle. And uh, that will allow me to travel, you know, somewhere in the vicinity of 300 miles on the tank that's in my truck. And uh, then I have... Uh, I think it's about a 75 gallon tank, reserve tank in the bed of the truck that's going to take me an additional, you know, probably 600 miles on top of that. So, so give or take, you know, uh, I, I should be able to get a quite a distance because like I said, I think my, the tank on my pickup, I think is like somewhere around 30 gallons and I get about, a, about 300 miles out of that. I'm not real sure right in that vicinity. So. I figure, you know, I'm almost, uh, I'm a little over doubling that with the 75 gallon tank in the in the back, so uh, 900 miles, whatever it is. Anyway, uh, so I, I kind of want to base most of my bug out inch gear. Uh, it's going to be based in my pickup, and it will stay there permanently. So I'm going to try to get some vids up on that, uh, maybe, you know, within the next week or so, and just give you some of the ideas of the preps that I've put together in that. So. All right, folks. Appreciate it.